In the last tutorial, we have seen how to make schematics of the components which are not present in Proteus. In this tutorial we will go one step ahead and be seeing how to make PCB layout of such components. We would be seeing how to make slotted holes, or holes which are not present in default areas. This is Mohammed Assad and you are watching tutorial series on how to make custom components on Proteus. Let's get started. As in our previous session we worked on DC Jack 50060, we will continue with the same Jack. Before working we should first look at its pan dimensions. These are the sum views of the DC Jack. Below I have summarized the pin dimensions for the ease. Let's move. After opening Proteus, click on Aries button. A new window will open. Click on the rectangular box. When mouse hovered over it, it would show 2D graphic box mode. Make sure you have selected top silk layer option from the bottom left corner. Now draw the top silk layer of appropriate size. Click on the DIL pad mode. Click on C label to create new DIL pad. A new window will pop out. Give the name for your DIL pad. We have given name DC Jack slotted DIL and click OK. In the next pop out window that is edit DIL pad style window we are going to add the dimension of the pad. After entering the dimensions, click OK. Now our DIL pad have been created. The next step is to make it slotted. To make a slotted hole, click on the pad stack label on left side. Click C to create a new pad stack. A new window will pop out. Enter the name. Now the next thing is important. In initial style, we need to add the style of the DIL we made earlier. Since we made DC Jack slotted DIL, we look for this name in the drop down menu. Click on continue. A new window will pop out. Here we will edit pad stack. In name and type option, check the style name option as per your DIL name and select slotted option. Set the width, height, and tool for the slot as per your design. If you have understanding issue in this aspect, work on Proteus 8.8 .8 or later version, it would show you the result of changing height, width, and tool size, so one can be visualize it more easily. We have done on it as well, see the top right corner. When done press OK, bingo, you have created a slotted hole. Now you can refer to the slotted hole just by pressing pad stack button, you will find your created slotted pad in the list. In the next video tutorial, we will be making DC Jack PCB layout. We hope you liked this video. Share your experience with us. Thanks and take care.